Hi guys and welcome to this week's Fandom Friday tutorial. Today's tutorial is on this look right here which is inspired by the light side from the Star Wars cover girl Max Factor slash Pat McGrath inspired makeup. I did the dark side last week, I will have that link down below if you have not seen it and if this is something that you would like to learn how to do then just keep watching. I've already done my base and I used L'Oreal's Unbelable Foundation in the shade Porcelain and then used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral and then set everything using the Loose Powder from Rimmel. To start off with I'm doing my brows, I'm using my Soap and Glory Archery Pencil and I'm just going to zoom right through this. Zoom, seriously. To start off with eyeshadows, I'm using this palette from Sleek and then for the first eyeshadow I'm taking this shadow right here called cream tea and on a flat eyeshadow brush I'm just applying this all over my lid space from inner corner to outer corner and up to the crease area. Following that I'm taking this shadow right here called Hyde Park and looking straight into the mirror because I've got hooded lids I went up, up and above my crease and then winged it out and then came back in just to connect the two and then I just thickened it up and went into the inner corner and down the side of my nose as well and then just darkened everything up. I made sure to keep the lid area of my eyes quite clear of this colour and then I took it to the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye just to create this kind of halo effect. Then taking this colour right here called Royal on a detailer brush, this is from funnily enough, royal, and apply this to my lower lash line. Then I took some more of cream tea and applied that to the inner corners to highlight. Then I went in with gold media from L'Oreal and applied this to the centre of my lids. I didn't think that cream tea was pigmented enough, that was just my personal preference. Then I aligned my waterline and tight line using an eyeliner pencil. I used a soft cold one from Rimmel. I curled my eyelashes and applied mascara. I used Max Factor's False Lash Effect Mascara in the Star Wars edition. I picked this up during the week and I really, really love this mascara. I've been using it all week. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it's Star Wars, so it's even more fun to use. Then I decided to highlight my brow bone and I took Mylar from MAC and on an eyeshadow brush just applied this to my brow bone. Going on to complexion, I used the Honey Bronzer from the Body Shop in the shade Fair and Matte and on my Real Techniques contour brush just did a little bit of contouring. It doesn't really show up much on me because I am so fair and pale and you know porcelain but the model was like seriously chiseled with this. Uh, to me she was so I just kind of tried to mimic that a little bit. So just go underneath the cheekbones, go along the hairline and the temples and there I am just trying to rock out to music and yeah, sorry trying to be serious here trying to, film, trying to film a tutorial cast come on keep it together now for blush I took rose gold from sleek and on my real techniques blush brush I just applied this to my cheeks I apply this quite low down onto the cheekbones as opposed to the apples on my cheeks it works and then I brought it up to the temples just a little bit because like on the posters she looked like to have that. Now I took this lip liner from Kiko. I will have the number of it listed down below and just lined my lips and filled them in. I bought this lip liner in Barcelona last April and I have not used it. I've been looking for an excuse to use it and this was the perfect excuse to use it and I love it. So then I took High Beam from Benefit, this is just a sample size, and I highlighted my cheekbones with this. I 
I just applied it to my cheeks and then just blended it out with my fingers. Because the mystic was seriously glowing. Like, seriously. I just applied a little dab to my nose. And then I took Big Ben from the Sleek Palette and then I just applied this to the center of my lips using my finger. She done that she done for the mystic makeup look for the light side for the Star Wars cover girl Max Factor Pat McGrath yada 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 makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Go watch the movie. I cannot wait to go and see it. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm hoping to go see it during the week. And have a great weekend, and I will see you in my next video.